Matt Pete here with Transshield. Today we're going to show you how to install a support kit to shed the snow and the water off of your cover during winter storage. When you order your pole kit, you're going to have the option to buy a two or a four pole kit. I always suggest that you get the four pole kit for pontoons. That'll allow you to have four support points going the distance of the pontoon to shed the snow. With the kit, you're going to receive poles, pole tops, and a bundle of webbing, which I've already managed to tangle up. To get started, you're going to want to find a point on the front of the boat, the bow of the boat, that you can tie off to. I see that there's, there's ties and eyelets here that I could tie off to, but that might put a little pressure on this rail or on the seating that I don't want. Uh, there are the bow eyes on the pontoon logs, but that's not going to allow the cover to tuck underneath, so I'm not going to do that. So I've selected the the tow eyelet, which is, I've already tied it on there, which is under the boat. And that's what I'm going to use for my front tie down. So we're going to take this center strap and we're going to run it through these pole tops, just like this. Through the bottom, over the top. We're going to do that with all four of them and get them hooked onto this strap. It doesn't matter where you put them at this point because we're going to figure out where we want them once the poles are ready to put in place. Now we're going to go tie off to the back. In the back of the boat, I need to find something to tie off to. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create a center line with a really tight rope, put the poles in between it, and then we may have to go side to side with a few straps to keep it from falling side to side. On this boat, we have a nice ski tow. The ski tow is a real nice solid structure to tie off to. In some cases, you don't have that, so you might have uh, transom cleats, uh, you might have uh, port and starboard cleats, uh, eyelets on the backs of the logs of the pontoons. There's certainly enough things back there to tie off to to create that center support. Now that we're tying off to the back, I'm simply gonna run this, this strap through here. And I'm gonna create a, a little bit of a, a pulley for myself by creating a loop right here. I'm, I'm about two feet from where my tie off point is. I'm gonna create this loop. So basically I'm holding this, this webbing together. I'm gonna tie a knot. This is not a slip knot, so it won't slip out. And then I can go back through there and pull tight, as tight as I want. Right now I don't want it very tight because I want to be able to put the poles in place and then I'll draw it down once the poles are in place. So at this point I am going to tie a slip knot so that we have pressure but it's not tight. Now that we've got it, the center strap tied up, I'm going to just simply slide these black uh, poles into place where I think I want them. Uh, and just start working down the center to get the poles in the, in the position that I want to ultimately see them. This can be done by one person. It's a little easier with two. And I'm kind of guessing right now on the height, but we'll get all that figured out as we, as we get our center support set up. Now that we have our center line figured out, we'll run a few straps side to side to prevent it from tipping or falling over uh, during the middle of the winter when you're putting the cover on as well. 
The other thing that I've done is I've gone back to this knot and drawn it down as tight as I can while I've got these, these poles in a pretty solid spot. So to do the side to side, you're going to want to find something on both sides that you can tie off to. In this case, uh, it doesn't need to be tight. In this case, there's a uh, bracket for the bimini top. And I'm going to go over that side to side because it should be the same on both sides. And bear in mind, this, this will put a little pressure on this couch. So what I would do also then is I'd put a piece of cardboard over there to prevent it from, uh, from uh, putting a permanent dent into that. I'm also going to take this side to side. I've tied it off to one side. I'm going to run it through the top of this pole kit again. You're going to go over to the other side, find that same tie-off point. You're going to create a nice little structure. And this will keep the cover from sliding around uh, and knocking the poles over. So I'll do this probably in one or two more spots.